Hey guys, I get quite a few questions on the phone mount that I use in my car, so uh, I wanted to just go ahead and do a quick video basically kind of reviewing the mount and uh, explaining, you know, what it's all about, what it is, what I like about it, what I don't, all that kind of stuff. So basically, this mount is made by a company called Ram. They make a lot of really good products. I've used them for GPS receivers and all sorts of stuff. They're really, really solid. They generally come with uh, like these really beefy arms and awesome suction cups and all this kind of stuff. Uh, it's a universal mount, so it's designed to fit pretty much any phone. Uh, you can just kind of squeeze them like this and it's spring-loaded to just release and grab onto whatever phone you have like this. So it's awesome. It's not a dedicated phone. Um, holder, which is kind of nice because it works with a whole bunch of phones. Uh, I would, I mean, all things being equal, I guess prefer like a dedicated phone mount from ProClip or something, but those are way more expensive. And this is actually great because sometimes I'll switch phones, iPhones, different Androids, all that kind of stuff, and it works with everything. Um, the way that it works, you've got your suction cup like this. You just kind of mount it where you want, put it in place, and then you turn that dial, and then it holds nicely. Uh, it's got these two kind of balls right here, like ball heads, one there, one here, so you can just adjust it however you want. Really nice, so it's very configurable. Um, I'll go ahead and put a phone in place. Uh, and I'll show you actually the way that it clips on is quite nice too. You just kind of go like that and holds in place. Once you find a good position that you like, um, I guess I'll just turn this off for now. You just do that and you tighten the knob back here and it's solid. Uh, I do like actually resting it down on the ground, not having it floating in the air like this. If I have it floating, there tends to be a little bit of vibration when I'm driving, so it uh, actually seems to work a little bit better when I have it resting down. Thanks to these little rubber pads, I can just rest it on the dash, and just kind of with the pressure of holding it down plus the rubber pads, it's a nice solid uh, base. So definitely like that. You'll notice I also have a, uh, a wire here that I've you know brought in, a power cable for my phone, so I can just plug it in like this. And very simple. Now I've got power as well, and it's got like a 90 degree uh, bend to it. I just got one of these on Amazon for a couple bucks, and uh, you know, very nice install. Um, I like it quite a bit. These rubber things hold on quite nicely. Uh, we'll loosen this. If you take a look at the way it holds on, I've got right there the power button, or the lock button rather, so I can lock and unlock my phone very easily while it's accessible. Um, on the bottom, I have accessibility for the volume up and down, uh, depending on where this is. On my last phone, it was in a slightly different location. Uh, it's not a big deal. You can just release it a little bit and slide it over to the right spot to make sure that it doesn't actually press on your uh, buttons there or there, and that's actually nice. So you just release it and put it in place. So it holds it in. It's pretty configurable because you can slide it like that. It works with a whole bunch of different phones. Um, these things do, let me just pull this off real quick. Uh, these things that hold the phone on can actually, over time, it seems, kind of slide off like that. So I do find myself, oh, cool, I've never actually taken them off, never come off off. But I do find myself from time to time kind of pushing and making sure that they're all the way in because they do kind of sometimes tend to slide forward. Uh, so I do do that, and you can actually feel right there um, the metal whatever bracket this thing is. So uh, something also I've noticed maybe a little bit of an issue. Um, sometimes what will happen is if I don't have a good secure hold, and uh, I mean I do take phones in and out you know, quite a bit, take them inside, sometimes depending because they're getting squeezed, uh, it is possible for it to kind of like shoot forward a little bit. And let me see if I can kind of make it do it like, whoops, not like that, that was my bad. Uh, so if it's not mounted, <laughs> if it's not mounted quite right, it's actually doing a good job now, but sometimes it'll slide like this and it could actually pop out that kind of thing. So um, just make sure you have it actually mounted securely. And oops, my suction cup did fall off. I've noticed after a couple of years, the suction cup is kind of losing its grip a little bit. Maybe I just need to clean it or whatever. Hold it on. But anyways, there you go. Uh, we do have it held in place. You just kind of want to make sure everything is aligned. Um, if it's too far back in the mount, whoops, uh, these things do kind of block the screen a little bit, so kind of the sweet spot I found is sliding them forward just a little bit like this, uh, enough to where it's actually leaning over the edge and holding them in place, but not so much to where it's actually blocking the screen physically. And then you just kind of, uh, you know, slide it over side to side until it's the position you want. Uh, one thing that I do like is it's also pretty easy to rotate horizontally and vertically. Um, let's see. So you can rotate like this. So I can run it in a vertical position, uh, I can run it horizontally like this, and you'll see um, it supports both mounts, which is really nice. Uh, luckily with my phone, 
it happens to go this direction, the power cable, so if I run it there, it still stays kind of clean, you can see. So I've got both options there. Um, let's see, what else did I want to say? Oh, I know those kind of pointing this out. Uh, I've got the phone actually tightened, right? You can see I've got it tightened in place, and there's still a little bit of flexibility to rotate it. Uh, let's say right about there is kind of the midpoint of it. And what I like about that is, let's say you've got your phone right here. Now I've got a little bit of play to adjust it. So if I set it down and it's not quite straight, I can actually go in and fine tune a little bit to make it nice and level. So for the part of me that likes it, you know, just right, I do have a little bit of uh, customizability even when it's locked down. So uh, yeah, it's a pretty great mount. Um, I like it quite a bit. Uh, it's called the X grip mount. You know, it makes sense, right? You got this X grip. Oh, even says right there from RAM. Hopefully that shows up. Oops, fell off again. I do need to get this suction cup thing. That does happen sometimes, which is a little bit annoying. And I've had this for a couple of years. I think it might just be old. I need to like refresh, refresh the suction cup or maybe clean off my windshield here or something. So that does happen from, some, from time to time. Um, but my issues with it are pretty minor. I think it's actually a pretty great mount. Uh, I've used it, I mean, with my iPhones, with my Androids. I've had a whole bunch of phones in here. I use it in my car. Uh, I'll actually suction cup it to my table at home when I'm doing videos and I need to have a phone on display for my uh, radar detector videos. So it's super useful and versatile. I really like it. I definitely recommend it. Um, I know people have been asking me for a while, you know, what phone mount do you use? And I was just kind of pointing to the Amazon page on this one. But anyways, I just wanted to go ahead and do a video for you guys to kind of show you the mount, what it's all about. So you can take a look to uh, get a feel for it yourself. Um, I'll put a link in the video description to, uh, uh, again, the link on Amazon. You can go buy it there too. Um, definitely recommend it. Good reviews, I'm sure. Uh, I like it. I think it's a pretty great option. And uh, as a universal mount, it's pretty fantastic. So there you go. Uh, there's my look at the Ram X-Grip uh, cell phone mount.